What's up, YouTube? This is Johnson Hands Cool Kids, and today we bring to you our airsoft collection. So first off, we have the HMK G36C. It's very, um, it's kind of heavy. Um, it has lots of tactical rails. Semi-auto, full auto, safety, little safety knob, so you so the bullets, if you instantly fire, you don't want to kill anyone. Um, it's about 300 feet per second, which, don't want the feet per second to save you. Um, it is very powerful, and it shoots very fast. It's a, um, an electric gun. It has a foldable stock. Um, and the sights. You can switch back and forth, whichever site you want. The mag, easy to come out. Again, you can get this for about $75 in stores and about um, $70 in online. So that's the HK G36. Next, we have the Stinger R34, which is pretty much the M16 of Airsoft. It's very good, it's not, not too lightweight. But it's pretty good. You know, um, it's just like a M16. It's not full auto. It's semi-auto because it's, um, spring. But, I mean, it's very good. It shoots about, um, 300 feet per second. Um, and it's really good. It's, it's like a, you could take the whole boat stock off. It's like, it's like the sniper of all M16s, you know. So, I'd recommend this. And, see these strap loops right here? You can put the strap on it, but, I mean, it broke in the first couple of weeks, so, you know. Next, we have the Remington 375. It's a great shotgun. It's pump action. It's easy to shoot. Um, maneuverable, um, about stock. The, there's lots of tactical rails all over the place. It comes with a scope, but it's not very good. I mean, it's an okay scope. Um... You know, and it's, it's easy to work. And this just shoots about, uh, 355 feet per second. And you can pick this one up for about $35. Don't let the clear deceive you because it's still a really great gun. Next we have the Crossman Stinger 532P. It's a great pump shotgun. It doesn't have a buttstock, which is kind of the downside, but it shoots very powerful. And I think you can get a buttstock on it if you would want to, because there's a little buttstock holder there. Um, you can put a strap on here. You can pretty much do anything with this little gun. I mean, my friend likes to put it in his hand and like have it like a pistol. Um, it has a safety. Um, it's easy to take the mag in and out. Um, and you can, this one shoots about 325 feet per second. And you can pick this one up for about $35. Next we have our little gun. I mean, this is just for fun, you know, we kind of play around with this one. Um, we don't really use it at, um, that much, but, I mean, it's pretty fun, you know. It goes, it's, it's full auto semi and um it has a safety and you can also you know um and it has the scope but this is you can't it's scope is not for use it's where you put all your bullets in as you can see and then you just shake um it's pretty cool it comes with this um safety stop right here too um and just because it's clear doesn't mean it's not good. I mean, this shoots about 300 feet per second. I mean, it's not bad. These are two JT masks. Um, these you can pretty much get hit with any airsoft gun, paintball gun, whatever you'd want. It has ventilation holes, but as you can see, they're on an angle, so if, if anything hits it, it'll just lie right off. The glass is super strong. Um... As you can see, it has side, um, 
side protection. And I recommend these. These you can pick these up for about ten, fifteen dollars each. Um, and they're very comfortable. Next, I have my tactical scope. I mean, it's just pretty much a tactical scope, you know. This is um a 10, 10, 8, 10 by eighteen power scope, sniper scope, which this is actually used on real guns, but I like to use them on airsoft guns to improve the accuracy on our guns. This, these are 2,000 count bags. You can pick these up, 2,500 count, sorry. And you can pick these up for about um, five to ten dollars a piece because they're high grade ammo. And that's those. This little feeder here you can get for about five to ten dollars because these are really nice for feeding into your mags and you can get these at pretty much any sporting goods store anything like that these are pretty much this the older brother of those because these are these are the, that was 500 count and these are 2000 count in these you can pick up for about fifteen dollars because they're really good for feeding into into the mags. And finally, this is our ten thousand count ammo, which you can pick. Oh, we've used it a little, as you can see. But um, these are really nice because you can just keep feeding into these. You can just stick it in there and it'll fill up. And then this, you can fill these up. And this is about $20 to $25 because it comes with so much ammo. And it's really good ammo. I mean, you can get it in how, however many grams you want. You can get how, what, what millimeter size you want it. I mean, it's just great.